Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest, and the Pier and Wind Institute has released some tier list changes. We're going to go ahead and talk about what I think about these uh, for Limbus Company. Uh, we're also going to talk about some changes I might like to think about, uh, some of the units I really enjoy. Uh, so let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> So what I really love, if you guys have not been to this webpage, is that they do have and have implemented a change log to the tier list, which is very cool. I've never seen uh, any type of a mobile game webpage do this. And I think that's fantastic because the tier list does change over the course of the game's lifespan, right? Uh, so what are the biggest changes? What's the strongest unit that's kind of been elevated? And that's going to be Rabbit Heathcliff. Now, Rabbit Heathcliff has been a unit that uh, is a big deal. People really like Rabbit Heathcliff. Um, he does use ammo, and in the beginning, a lot of people said that it was because of his ammo that he was going to kind of fall off a little bit um, because he really wasn't good for the duration of long combats. But what's actually happened is he turns out to be the god of mere dungeon right because mere dungeon is a bunch of like uh really fast single encounters uh but he's also turned out that he has really high clash potential even without his ammo so he is able to not only win clashes and negate opponents attacks but he's able to kind of still be relevant uh even after he is kind of expended with his ammo now one of the interesting things here um, that I really tend to struggle a little bit with is the kind of demotion of uh, Mariachi Sinclair from A to B. Uh, it says bad sin distribution to support any of his ego, and he does not work well in a team environment. And that's definitely true. I personally have leveled him to level 30 and have been getting some use out of him where i tend to see him failing more though is in his clash capability in his damage capability and granted that may not be what he's actually necessarily used for right uh but he just seems to kind of struggle just that little bit more and especially with ego changes coming out and keep in mind this tier list is not made with the ego changes in mind or the overdrive ego i believe it's called this coming out I think it's next week uh, we're gonna I, have, I haven't fully read about it i just know it's coming i've seen all the news about it uh but you're probably gonna want to start thinking about egos a little bit more uh, interestingly we do see another boost to another ammo user and that's going to be ishmael right here now ishmael went up from a to s ishmael is already a pretty good unit uh the reason for the promotion is the amazing utility and class potential with skill two and three plus self-sufficient rupture and tremor utility uh, ammo is not an issue, right, um, in longer fights, so it's not something you have to fully worry about. Let's go ahead and just pull up Ishmael's uh, skills here. What you'll notice is there's a lot of blunt, which is really great, right? You have an offense level of 29, which is relatively high, uh, and you have a high number of coins for skill 2 and 3 with reasonable skill power and coin power uh, with the ability to both inflict fragile, rupture uh you know burst tremor and imply tremor so there is a lot of things going on here that are really going to support her capability uh to be good in a party and be in a party environment and not to mention she'll be really good uh in anything chapter three this is this ishmael is actually one of the units i don't have in my party composition and it's killing me because i want to take her into uh the chapter three dungeon and i just cannot now, a lot of the other changes are uh, promotions, uh, specifically for, we have the other Ishmael, she section five. And I don't like this because it's very conditional. And I feel like if you're listing a unit as B rank, there's actually going to be potential for them. Uh, but it says if she is brought to 50% HP and kept there, she shines greatly and her damage and clash potential goes very high up. I think that conditional getting to 50% HP is too difficult. I think if you are in a situation where your unit, um, specifically any of the she section five units that are HP dependent, like drop down and hit that 50% HP, I think it's over because most of the time you're probably just getting staggered and you're just going to get stagger chained and killed. So I like, yes, I can see the potential here, uh, but I feel like promoting her to B rank makes her seem more usable than she actually is. 
Uh, we have Faust here. Uh, so this is gonna be the two star Faust and I actually use this Faust and I think this is a great uh, promotion here. So this specifically for PVE. Um, and they're all for PVE, but C to B offers great clash potential, which makes her a bit more worth using. And I actually still like using her over the original Faust uh, because of this clash potential. I actually have her level 30 in my team. And because you of course have her ego, uh, which is going to be very powerful. It is an AOE ability, it does offer blunt attacks. Uh, I just think there's too much good going on in this two-star form. Uh, so I'm really happy with this, that she's kind of been moved up. Now, if I were to say, like, if we're looking at the B tier and I'm like, oh yeah, Foss is on the same tier as Ishmael. Absolutely not. I don't think so. Um, I think because of the conditional with Ishmael, like you were assuming with Ishmael that she's going to be 100% activation status all the time. Yeah, B tier, but she's not able to do that. So um, that's one of the biggest disagreements I think I have here. Uh, Marisol from C to B, a uh, speed stat stick that supports and is carried by his currently available amazing ego. Absolutely. Uh, Marisol is really good. His ego is very powerful. And of course, the three star version is going to have a little bit more power than the other versions. If we just come in here, uh, offense levels of 30, uh, but where it really matters is going to be his ego. So let's go ahead and pop up his egos here. Uh, just to go ahead and talk about them. Uh, so you do have the uh, Chain of Others, which is really good single target ego. Uh, you also have his healing ego. I'm not the biggest fan of the you want to get beat. Uh, again, it gives protection, surgery, and can inflict paralysis. Not the biggest fan of this, uh, but where I really enjoy uh, is going to be Chain of Others, which I initially thought this ego wasn't that powerful, and then it was kind of uh, convincing to me that it was, uh, and I get that it would be like really powerful in a boss situation, um, but it also kind of reflected on me that it's really good in 1v1 situations because this is going to help him win his clashes. This is going to help him, you know, survive a little bit longer, so it's going to be good, it, like no matter what. Uh, and there's very few other, you know, unless you're running fast that I can think of, um, you know, I think the fact that it's one sloth, one gloom, two envy, it's gonna be pretty easy to uh, spam and get away with here. Uh, finally, the last change log is going to be uh, Ryoshu from S to A tier. Uh, so with further tests, Ryoshu showed to be lacking certain power that both Sinclair and Otis have that let them keep their reign as best based ID. So if we come down here, uh, we do have Otis and Sinclair here uh, who are higher tier currently, uh, but they're pretty good. They're okay still. Um, I think it's good that we kind of demoted Ryoshu down to uh, kind of these lower A tiers. I don't think all of the base units are gonna be that good. And I'm sure things are going to be changing as we do go forward. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and I'm interested to hear what you guys think about the tier list down below. There was some changes that added like the NCORP units here in A tier, which was really great. Uh, but for the most part, I, I, I mean, I feel like, yeah, they probably do belong down here. But I could see them getting promoted here in the near future. Anyway, everybody, again, thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys next time.